Hello again, I'm Anthony Cusimano, and this is my good friend, Alex Verity. And today we're gonna to continue to talk about backup exec. Fun fact, Alex, nine years ago, when I started at Veritas, I was an intern working on backup exec. That's what I, I knew there was something about you that I really liked, yeah. that, that connection. And it's, it's so interesting because backup exec is just, it's coming back in a big way. It's so hot right now. Tell me, why is backup exec so hot right now? Well, there's a couple of reasons why it's hot. Okay. Uh, so let me tell you why it's hot. I want to hear about why it's hot <laughs> and drop it like it's hot, please. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, customer environments are, are constantly changing and evolving. Sure. And a lot of hybrid type environments out there. I've seen so, a bunch of that, yeah. Yeah. So let me show you a little bit about what I have inside my Backup Exec 20.4 lab here. Sure. And uh, see, you can see here I have my Backup Exec media server and a couple of physical devices, Hyper-V cluster and my VMware environment. That's actually pretty cool and worth calling out because a lot of times folks think that you usually have to have like one type of media. It's either physical or it's virtual or it's cloud, but this is like completely hybrid environment. Yeah, and it's really cool because even if you had, say, multiple media servers mm -hmm. uh, and had the central management console, it would look very similar to this, and, but it would just have all of your resources there. That is super neat. Yeah, very cool to have. Some of the things I like to talk about too when I talk about backup exec, which is like all the time, <laughs> is the, what it can do for folks that have uh, a lot of virtualization in their environment. Right. So within this environment, like with VMware and Hyper-V, you can do instant recovery virtual machines. So, oh, really? Yes. So that's uh, something that uh, we've been able to do for a little while now, but uh, I like to always evangelize. Yeah. So you mind showing us a little more on how that works? Yeah. So one of my VMs here, you know, everything within Backup Exec is, is so great because it's very wizard driven. Yeah. So once you're able to get through something, you're able to get through pretty much anything. Okay. So all you'd have to do is highlight the virtual machine that has a full backup done. Got it. And you would be able to just, you know, click on instantly recover a virtual machine and just run through this short wizard of four steps. Oh, wow. Where you're basically just choosing the point in time that you want to choose from for the VHD or the VM, VMDK. And then you just choose, uh, say, a destination. And it'll let you browse which host, so you can return it back to the original one, or you can move it to your, your dev environment, or you know, however you want to do it, you know, by using your live migration or vMotion tools. That's super cool that it kind of builds out the context for you. Yeah. Yeah. So this is very cool. Everything's wizard driven, very efficient, easy right. to, to figure out. And then you just schedule it for now or if you want to do it after hours or whatever is most important. And what's really cool about this feature is that no matter what the size of the virtual machine or the data store is that it takes less than 30 seconds or 60 seconds for it to be done. Wow. That is impressive. So really the, the ultimate use case here is if you've lost a VM or you've had some kind of outage that is affecting individual machines in your infrastructure, you can recover in about 30 seconds or less. Yes. That's, That's a powerful feature. Absolutely. So if there is something, uh, mission critical virtual machines out there, de definitely want to look at using that. And especially if that is something that is important to an administrator that you're mm -hmm. working with, is to talk to them about recovery ready. Because it's basically the same tool, okay. but you can actually schedule those instant recoveries to take place so that backup exec is actually mounting that virtual machine, doing a heartbeat test, making sure that it's a valid backup and ready to go when you need it most. So this is the assurance that your instant recovery will work when you actually need it. Absolutely. And there's even some light reporting that you can get on that so that you can go to your uh, boss and say, hey, look at this. I know that in the event of a disaster, I'm ready to go. A nice and easy way to get a gold star. I'm always, always looking for ways yeah. to get that. I was about to say, always down to look good. On to the next thing that I think is really important to talk about yeah. is the integration with the cloud. That is huge right now with our with our customers and the ability to not only use it as a storage target, but to also work with it and have it actually mounted in, in the cloud. So Backup Exec can actually be downloaded directly from Azure and Amazon. It's marketplace. Oh, wow. So you could you can go to the marketplace and just set up backup exec in a fully cloud native environment. Absolutely. And run it just like you would your on-prem environment. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. And, and I'm assuming it uses all cloud storage and everything as well. Yeah. S3 compliant and all that. Yep, there's over 40 certified cloud providers for backup exec. As you can see in my environment here, I have an AWS S3 bucket. Uh, so basically if it has an S3 connector or the Azure proprietary connector, backup exec can write to it. That is very cool. So even things like Deep Archive, we're able to, to communicate with that as well. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, so very cool stuff. So as you can see, and then setting it up for Azure AWS is very simple. Again, okay. it's all wizard driven. So as long as you have that blob or that uh, S3 instance set up, you just have your secret key and access key information. You'll place it in here. Backup exec will see it just like it does any other disk on-prem. Well, this is awesome. Thanks again, Alex, for showing us all these really cool features for both the instant recovery and the cloud.